Johanna. Johanna. Hi guys. I know it's been a while since I've done, well, it hasn't actually been that long since I've done a video, but I haven't been filming videos as frequently. I've been really sick. My whole family's been really sick after we went away. So I've kind of just had a little break and then we're also going away this week. So I haven't been making videos, but early next month when we return, I should be able to get back into the swing of making videos for you guys. But I just wanted to do a quick video today while I have a little bit of time to show you the new digitals that I'm putting into my Etsy shop. So you may already know that I have these vintage linens printable packs in my Etsy shop. I have, um, at the moment I have packs one to six and in each pack there's 10 images and I'm adding two more packs. So I'm adding pack seven and pack eight and they've also got 10 images as well. And these are true vintage linens, doilies and embroidered pieces. So I just wanted to take the opportunity I have today to film something and show you what is going to be in those new packs. So this is pack seven and I've just printed these on regular copy paper and my printer's almost out of ink. So as well as that, my printer's like a $20 printer. It's a really cheap printer. It's the basic. I've used the very, very basic supplies to get these printed and they turn out really nice. So, so I'll just show you through the images. So this is pack seven, as I said, there's lots of beautiful floral pieces. So um, beautiful embroideries, little doilies. And I've just printed these out two to a page. So, um, so to get them this size, I just printed two to a page and cut them out. Um, but they are JPEG images like the other packs. So you can resize them really, really easily if you want to. You can print them large or you can print them small. And they just make really cool little pieces to use in your journals. So um, lots of pretty little doilies and little pieces you can have overlapping your pages. And there's this one, some cool shapes. And this one, the embroidery, and this one. So that's pack seven. And then this is pack eight. Um, why do my nails look so blue? That's kind of creepy. I don't think I'm cold. My nails look really blue. Okay, so so then we have pack eight, and again there's ten images, so lots of beautiful embroideries. Some of them are similar to what's in here, but they are all different to each other. So you can see this has got a different design, but they are they came I got them together and they have um, the same kind of leafy print on them. This is a cute little doily that my printer didn't print properly because it's running out of ink. <laughs> so it's got like some lines through it, but it won't print like that on yours. And yeah, so a little doily, beautiful flower, another doily there. This one's got some beautiful colors in it. So florals, more cross stitch and a hanky and then and then there's this one so that's pack seven and pack eight i really really like these ones i think they'll be able to print out really quite big because they were larger pieces that i was luckily that i was lucky enough to find and so they'll print quite big quite nicely and yeah so those will be in my etsy shop whenever i put this video up i will link it below if you do want to go and check it out and um, what else was I going to say? Oh, a couple of people asked me for clarity on whether they can use these in journals that they sell. And the answer is yes, you can use these in your junk journals that you make and you sell. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, you can use them in your physical products that you make and sell. That's totally fine. So, yeah. Super excited about these. I wanted to get this video done now so that I can start using these because I wanted to show you what the packs look like before I start cutting into them and sticking them on things. But yeah, so I'm super excited to use them. Um, 
next videos you can expect from me will be I'm releasing some Christmas Traveler's Notebook inserts which are almost finished so there'll be a video on that um, I'll be doing a finished junk journal flip through because my big junk journal that I do my junk journal with me is, is pretty much done so I'll be doing a flip through of that and then because I've finished my junk journal I'm making myself a new junk journal so I'll be doing a video on what it looks like blank and then I'll probably start doing some more junk journal with me is in the new junk journal so those are kind of what I've got lined up again I won't be able to get those done until we return from our trip this week but that's kind of what's what's happening behind the scenes um, yeah well, I also wanted to do an update on my kids inserts that I keep for them and um, possibly a finished flip through because they're almost done and yeah so until you hear from me again um, I hope you're all having a really great day and a really great week and you're all doing really well and and if you do have any questions regarding anything really leave them in the comments below and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye